the position of that meat in proximity to the macaroni and cheese casserole yeah. tells me that that has to be ham. Like that seems like a makeshift carving station. Like it's not like if you put a true carving station attendant behind that, they would yeah. be like, oh, this bull. <laughs> this is no carving station. You got macaroni and cheese. You got this is this is not I cannot work like this. Welcome to another episode of Food Buffet Report. Today we're looking at a makeshift carving station set up in front of a macaroni and cheese casserole. The buffet is trying to tell you something. They're saying, hey, we have macaroni and cheese and you can get ham with that too. And you put the ham on the macaroni and cheese. We see the ham like stand like this ham is standing there like this. As if to say, I go in the macaroni and cheese, but they don't want to explicitly state that yeah. they just put the ham there to stand there and be like, you know, do you think they're trying to create something like, you know, certain things go together like chicken and biscuits. And this is like ham and macaroni. Like that's like a th thing. They're hoping to get it going. It's like the whole foundation of our chain of buffet restaurants is our combination station of ham and mac and cheese. That ham looks kind of like a piece of watermelon. <laughs> what, with the rind carved off? Yeah, yeah like the rind carved off. <laughs> yeah, just the inside of the water. What if it's a trick? To me, it looks so red that it looks like an un- cooked pot roast yeah like it, like yeah. a raw a raw beef pot roast that pillar is terrible for the view too yeah like people are probably like either way trying to get a look at what's behind you know like there if you were sitting stood in line it's real crowded and you were the guy at the pillar you'd be trying to like and people would be like stay in your place i'm like i can't see it's obstructed view of the buffet. It's weird that they have that there. That support structure doesn't seem like it needs to be there. Ham's a great idea in macaroni and cheese, though, I think. But it, it, I feel like the ham should maybe be not at a carving station whole because you don't you're not going to take a slice of ham and just throw it on top of a pile of macaroni and cheese. It's like it's almost like you would want to have the ham in like shredded or maybe diced or something like that you know wouldn't that be better diced ham in the in the macaroni and cheese wouldn't that be better do you think the carving guy couldn't dice it or do you think that would be the dice pieces would maybe bounce around a lot i think they're just insinuating that the ham and the mac and cheese go together but unless somebody's there to tell you hey hey these two go together do you yeah. know yeah. would you walk up to there and think to yourself Wow, ham and mac and cheese. Gonna have some of that and eat it together. Is that is that what you would think? No, I mean, I would think that maybe they're putting something popular like mac and cheese that everyone likes to eat with something like the ham. Maybe they're hoping that some of that will rub off on the ham. Maybe it's not been selling as well. And the guy that sells them the ham realizes he's done them a disservice because the ham isn't isn't selling and they're going to try to team it with the mac and cheese so it's like my shirt and your shirt that's the difference like my shirt is the mac and cheese everyone likes it's cool you know it's it appeals it's white yours is not nearly as likable of a shirt thanks for joining us on food <laughs> buffet report uh we'll see you next week maybe i'll wear the same shirt again I didn't even know where you got that shirt. I've never seen it.